Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to derive the three formula of the chapter motion in one dimension by definition and by using small formula. In my next video, I am going to uh, tell you about graphs and then I will show you the graphical representation or the graphical derivation of the three formula. But for today, we are going to just derive the formula by definition. Okay. I've, in my previous video, I have already to, uh, told you about the basics okay, the, or the first part of basics of the chapter and the two concepts that is speed and velocity and acceleration and retardation. Only these two concepts are left that I will be talking in the, in the next video and after that I will be talking about graphs and show you the derivation of the three formula in a graphical way. But now for the time being I don't want to mix any other topic with the uh, you know derivation of the three formula by definition. So let's begin with our today's topic that is deriving the three formula in the way of definition. So the three formula is V equals to U plus AT. Second formula is S equals to UT plus half AT square. And the third formula is V square equals to U square plus 2AS. Okay. Now, I will be telling you one by one. But before that, just know A equals to V minus U by T. A equals to V minus U by T. Now, when I talk about acceleration, it will become much more easier to you. For, but for the timing, no. Acceleration equals to uh, final velocity minus initial velocity. Final velocity is represented by V. Initial velocity represented by U time by T. Okay. What is acceleration? Rate of change of velocity. That means with time, how much velocity has increased. That is your acceleration. So in order to find acceleration, we need to apply this formula. That is the final velocity that the body has assumed minus the initial velocity from the velocity with which the body has started its journey and by the time. Okay. When I teach you acceleration in my next video, it will become much more easier. But for the timing, just know this formula. That is A equals to V minus U by T. Let me tell you again, A is acceleration. V is the final velocity. That means the finally what velocity the body in motion has assumed or acquired. In, uh, U is your initial velocity. That is with which velocity the body has started its journey. And T is your time. So with this, we will be deriving our first formula. That is V equals to U plus AT. Many people have already understood how to derive and those who have not understood for them I am deriving. At first let us divide, not divide, multiply T this set. We can do by applying simple mathematics. AT equals to V minus U. Very simple. And we will shift U this side. So AT plus U equals to V. Or in other words, V equals to U plus AT. Did I? Done? This was such easy. Let's see the second one. Okay? So, using the formula A equals to V minus U by T, we can derive the first formula. Second formula is A is equals to U T plus half A T square. Now, in one of my previous video, I don't remember in which one. So, if you check there, okay, just go through the description of the videos, you will see the agenda and there you can find that somewhere I have explained uh, velocity equals to displacement by time or speed equals to distance by time. I will also explain this particular concept, uh, concept in my next video also. But... I have told you in one of my previous video that distance equals to average velocity into time. I have written average velocity in short form. Okay. So, distance traveled equals to average velocity into time. Okay. I have told you there. You may search. 
here we are representing D by using S. Okay, D is represented by using S. So S equals to average velocity into time. What is your average velocity? This also I have explained it. V plus mu by 2 into time. Or simply T. V plus u by 2 into T. Okay? Final velocity plus initial velocity by 2. I have explained this also. Now, by using this part, can we replace the value of V? Obviously, we can. So, can we write u plus a t by 2 into t? This obviously we can write. Now, s equals to, I have missed out this part. This u has to be kept. This u. Okay. Now, we will add these two u. So, 2u plus a t by 2 into t. Right? Now, s equals to 2u by 2 plus a t by 2. Can we write? Can we give this denominator to both the numerator? Obviously, we can. We can write it 2u plus a t by 2 equals to 2u plus 2 by 2 plus a t by 2. We can write into t. This has to be kept in bracket. Now S equals to this 2 and 2 gets cancelled U plus A T into T by 2 and from here we can write U T because T has to be multiplied with this also with this also. So T into U it's U T plus A T into T that is A T square by 2 or in other words we can say s equals to ut plus half a t square this by 2 can be written as half why because if you multiply 1 with a t square it becomes this only but we take out 1 by 2 from this same formula derived this video is very small because this concept is important. That's why I did not mix any other topic with today's video. Today, in this small video, I am only going to show you the three derivation. And this is the last derivation that will also take a minute. V square equals to U square plus 2S. Again, applying the same thing. Distance, S. So, till now I have used S. So here also we will use S. Average velocity into time. What is the average velocity? Again, V plus U by T. Sorry, not T, it's 2 into time. Right? Now think one thing. If we find out T from here, we can replace T. So see here. V equals to U plus A T. We know this. Right? So can we do V minus U equals to A T? We are shifting U this side. Now we have to bring A down. So V minus U by A equals to T. So T is left alone this side. So we can say that V plus U by 2 into V minus U by 2. Sorry, by A. And this side is as usual. So just we are replacing the value of T from here. Okay? Now, let's do one thing. Let's multiply. Okay, let's multiply. With numerator, denominator with denominator. S equals to at first we will multiply V with V, so V square. V with U, minus, because here minus is there, V U. Right? Now U with V, we will multiply these two. 
u v plus plus minus becomes minus u square by two a. Now minus u v and plus u v gets cancelled. So s equals to v square minus u square by two a. And we can say two a s equals to v square minus u square. We can say this, okay? Two a s equals to v square minus u square. We can say this, and we can shift u this side. So two a s plus u square equals to v square, or v square equals to u square plus two a s. Third formula also derived. So shown all the derivation. So with this we complete with our today's video. Now if you want to see the derivation, okay, this uh, derivation by definition way only, you can refer to my community tab. There I have posted one picture where I have done all the derivation, all the three derivation. Here I have dubbed the board and I have done separately or individually. There all the things are done here all together. So you can find there, okay. So you can reach my community tab to have a detailed or you know altogether view of the three derivations. So this was all for today. Wait for my next video. There I'll explain much more interesting topic and the most interesting part of the chapter that is graphs. So till then, bye.